Hi, this is Pat Love Bat with Pat's Two Cents. Isaiah chapter 8, verse 19. And when they shall say unto you, Seek unto them that have familiar spirits, and unto wizards that peep and that mutter, should not a people seek unto their God? For the living to the dead? Listen, there's another thing in the New Testament where an angel asked Mary Magdalene and the guys to come to check out the empty tomb of Jesus after he was resurrected. And the angel says this, and I ask you, why seek ye the living among the dead? If God made it that plain, that he wants you to seek him, not wizards, not sorcerers, not enchanters, not macromancers or whatever you call them. Gee, I get the names all mixed up. Listen, understand that number one, witchcraft to God is an abomination. So for you to say, I am a child of God, I am born again, and Jesus is my Lord and Savior, it is almost an oxymoron when you look at it to say that you believe in Jesus, that you're following Christ, that you're in the ways of God, you read the Bible, but you consult with mediums, hello, with tarot cards, with, uh, okay, so witches or whatever you want to call them. Listen, that's not God's way. That is what you call a total opposition, diametrically opposed. God doesn't smile on it. He doesn't wink on it. He doesn't turn a blind eye. Now, his mercy, he, in his mercy, he understands that many of you as born-again Christians have not been taught from the pulpit. And unfortunately, many of you don't read the Bible. So you are unknowledgeable in, in both ways. And you're acting out of ignorance. But God would not have you ignorant. Listen, know that whatever you're doing, what you need to do is get your Bible, put it in front of you on the table, in your lap, wherever, however you look up your Bible, on your device. Ask God to lead you to Scripture to tell you exactly what chapter, what book, chapter, and verse to read so that He can start showing you just how much he detests his people being involved with the occult. Now, God can speak for himself. I'm going to leave it alone. If you choose not to ask him, that's between you and God. But I at least brought it up to the surface so you could skim it off if you choose.